All right, guys, I'm going to start the second leg of this project. I'll show you guys the finished part of the other part in a minute. Um, but we're actually going to start the the hopper carts here. It's going to come here. We're going to have a signal. This is actually going to be changed a little bit already. Um, but all the items will come down here, and I think I showed you guys this all before. But then if we go up here, some of the stuff, the cactus farm is already working. It's actually turned off for the minute. Um, but these are all working, so I wanted to get it so that these come into here, so that all of the all of the cows come into there, and then also we have our fish farm, and over here we have our melons out here. I don't think I even shown this off, so let me show this off to you guys for a second. So we come out here. Let's see, can I get it? Yes. Actually, I have a whole melon farm out here, pumpkins and melons, which is running very ideally right now. Got tons of stuff in here. So I actually want to have that go out over there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and dig this out and connect all of this. I'll catch back with you guys in a minute, but this is all I'm doing is I'm just connecting all the different hoppers so that it goes down to the minecarts, and then we'll have a nice flush system. So I will see you guys in a minute. All right, I also forgot to add, we're going to be doing these as well. So people come over, they'll pop some uh, of the items. Do we have anything? Oh, we just had a whole bunch of diamonds, but they can come and buy some of the stuff. And I want this just to automatically pay. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually change this up. Um, but for now, I'm just going to have these as the paying sections. And then they can have this. But I actually might just swap these over here. We'll see. But for now, um, because you can't actually draw from those if they're on the fence posts. Um, for now, we're going to actually just go ahead and I'll fix this in a little bit. But we'll have a hopper come down here, and then those will go across, and we'll actually just go all the way across over to the rest of the hoppers as well. So I'll get this finished. I'll actually give you guys a quick demonstration of that here in a minute. So see you in a minute. And like that, it is complete. Nothing looks different, right? Except maybe some creepers that blew up my cow farm. But it's actually done. So if you guys, if you were to actually use this, all the stuff that would normally end up in this chest, there's a bunch of hoppers that run across here and connect to the cactus sorter. And then if you come out here, you can actually see it over here. But there's hoppers. There's a hopper right there. And there's hoppers that run all along this way. I think this one's even open, but there's hoppers that run along the way, so if you drop something in here, and do we have anything unique? Let's get something unique, just to show that it works. Let's see. Hmm. What do I care about losing and not losing? I don't think I have any dark oak saplings over there. So let's try this. This actually took me several days to complete, so from the start of this to now, it's actually taken a long time to get there. Ooh, even a diamond in here. So, if you want to come in here and actually pay, you see all these great things you want to buy, you actually can put your payments in here, which should be a diamond, and then it actually gets put in there and goes all the way across. Now, I've actually had to cover up all the hoppers just because it creates a lot of lag, and so these are open just because they got to catch the cactus when they pop, um, but everything else has to be covered just because it caused a lot of lag spikes. So, if we come down here, this is the second part of this. We have this whole thing set up. We actually have a second rail running there. This whole thing is set up so that whenever a hopper minecart comes in here, it stops, collects all the goodies. There's a lot of goodies still in there. Great. Excellent. Oh, we have to go catch that one. So then it would come all the way down here. Keep coming. Keep coming. And when this is not loaded this actually doesn't run very well I need to put more of these powered rails in there because sometimes it'll stop but whenever I get it going it actually runs extremely well it's everything sorted out for me so I just want to come back here and show you guys what actually happens I'm gonna clean most of this up I just wanted to get this going but I'm just gonna make this a little bit more nice to look at so this gets stopped and the way that the system works is once this is finally empty, then it'll let go. But it's slowly actually pouring into here. 
Bet we could speed things up a little bit. Put a lot of stuff in here. Sometimes I actually come down here and just sort this out myself. Just because I like to keep some of the stuff close by instead of coming down to my spawn base. But this is going to be a great contraption just for all the automated stuff that comes in. Blocks of iron. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that comes in here. So it'll come in here and maybe it'll be complete by the time we're done, maybe not. But then we come back all the way over here. It's quite a distance, which is really nice actually because whatever was loaded up there and running doesn't affect me way over here. The only downside is, is whenever you first log in, the spawn has to actually happen. Both sections have to be loaded. So if I operate over here mostly like I'm planning to, this will all work out really, really well. There's another device there. We'll talk about that later. Different episode. A lot of goodies in there. And so, then it comes here. And we have all this stuff here. And so the item sorter, it'll come down there and come into here. We've got a lot of stuff there. This, all the stuff down here is manual, just like we've talked about. And then if we want to, we'll have to just manually get back in there. But then here's this. Here's all of our extra stuff that doesn't have a place right now to be sorted. And so if we wanted to, we could do this part by hand. And I have been. I have been doing a lot of this by hand right now. Just coming in here, collecting this stuff. I think I even have a place for the leather, right? Yeah? No, I don't. No. So we can just put the meat in one of these, which we get a ton of this whenever we get cows. And then we can put the leather in this one. Actually. So we can put that in there. And the system's really just running really well right now. So all this stuff is getting sorted out. So we're getting a ton of different things in here. Specifically the stuff that's already automated. Lots of pumpkins. Lots of cactus. A lot of melons. So I love to hear what you guys have to say. Tell me what you think. Is there anything I can optimize with this? Um, I've covered all those in the back as well. Um, so there's not much lag in here. In fact, back here it's fairly well constructed. I get no lag spikes back here right now. I expect that to change. Um, but I wonder what you guys think. What should happen next? Um, there's more to come. I've already been working. Like I said, this has been over a week I've been working. So there's more to look at here, which we'll look at in a little bit. But what should come next? What should be the next place? Because I imagine that you drop down from the house down there, and then you land here, you can come into the sorting room, but then I expect you to be able to come on over there for something if you want. I expect you actually could go that way for something. Um, our evil lair is right up there, and we'll have a place to exit, which will be up here soon, and we'll show you some of that stuff too. But what else should I do? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this. So, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.